Okay, in this video, I'm going to go through how to add drop down menus to a form. So we've gone through radio buttons. This is just drop down menus. So I'm here in design view, I've got my form open. Um, and in the control section again, um, I'm going to select combo box um, and open the little wizard for that. So I need to actually draw out um, my field. Um, and I think actually before I do that, I need to make some space for it. So I'm going to move this down. And you will need to consider um, where everything goes. So I'm going to leave um, this here. Uh, I might just move it up slightly. Yeah. And then I'm going to add my next field underneath because I've got two fields to add to this gender and tutor group. Um, and gender I'm actually going to put up here in between surname and English. So combo box. And if I just start to draw out my combo box, we'll see the little wizard appears. Okay, so here it is. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. It says I will type in the values I want. So you can actually type in what you want, it, to, what the options you want in your drop down menu, or you can ask the combo box to look up values in a table or query. Um, I'm going to type in the values I want because this is for um, gender, firstly. So I'm going to just type in what I want, so male, and then underneath female. So this is how I want my drop down to look. These are the options. And it, again, same with the radio button. It asks you what value do you want to remember it for later use or store it in a field. So I want to store this in gender. Yeah. So whatever the student selects, I want stored on the gender field. And then next, and you can put in a label for it. So I'm just going to call it gender. Okay, and finish. Okay, so here it is. I can then move that. I'm just going to move it together. If you click on the little brown buttons, it will allow you to move the label separately from the control. If you want to move them together, just move, you can just select where you want it. So I want it in here. Okay, so I just moved it in between the two. Okay, and it's just it's automatically formatted with the rest of those, which is really helpful. Um, because I've, those have moved down, I now need to move this down so it's slightly out of the way. Um, and we can check how this looks in form view. So here's the drop down that I've just made. Okay, so I've just added that in. So that's how you see your drop down. So obviously, um, depends on the options that you have. The other um, thing I need to do, so I'm just going to move this down a bit more. And we're going to run out of space as well. So I might think about putting tutor over here because it's quite a short field and um, so i'm going to add another combo box so if i click on this and then i draw out my field like that and then we can change the look of this later so don't worry about how it looks at the moment um, you can have i will type the values i want or this time what i'm going to do and i'll actually show you before we begin so i'm just going to delete that and I'm going to show you on teachers table, I have all the teachers codes and uh, this is a separate table, but it's linked to students because I've set it up with the relationship already. Um, so this gives me all the information about the teachers, but it's got their codes. And this is what uh, students will need to enter into the form. So rather than typing in the values I want, I'm going to allow my control to select from this particular field. So this is going to be my drop down. I'm going to use this as a drop down. So if I just close that table now and go back in again in design view and select my combo box. And if I just put it, draw it out, and then I want the combo box to look up the values in the table or query. That's, this is the option I want. So I press next. I need to select the table that I want and then select the field. It was called S code. Okay, so that's the one I want. So I press next. Um, you can sort it if you want to. Um, so I'll just sort it in ascending order, make it easier for the students to use. And as you can see, it's now here. So that here it is. And you can add into this um, if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as is because those are all the teacher's codes. And then press next. Again, I need to store it in a field. So I'm going to store this in tutor. That's where I want that to be stored. And press uh, next. Um, what do I want it to be called? I want it to be called Tutor. Okay, and then press Finish. So there it is. And obviously I need to adjust this a little bit, move it over. I want the label over here. And mm, this is where, okay, I need to move this separately. 
Yeah, so if you do it to click on the little brown boxes, it will move my label independently now. Um, and I want to adjust the size of that label to match my other labels in there. So I'm just going to use the format painter to pick up the formatting for that so that matches. And then if I just I think I should be able to adjust that, move that up slightly to match that. I'm going to have a look at it in form view just to see how it looks. Okay, so here it is. Here's my drop down. I'm not sure if I'm happy with that. I might adjust the layout of my form and you can move your fields around quite easily in design view. So if I just show you, um, so like I move gender up here, I can move tutor around. If you want to move the label with the control, you need to just select it like that and it will move. Um, if you want to move the, anything independently, the little brown square will allow you to move, as I've already said, um, kind of repeating myself here. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, I can adjust the width of this also if I want to, if I want to make that wider, I can. It doesn't need to be really very wide um, because of the data that's in there. It's only three characters long. Um, so I'm going to have to adjust, move that. So I move that up here as it was, and then move this down slightly to meet with that nicely. Um, yeah, I can always change it later if I want to. But the main thing is that the drop downs are there, both of them are there, and they work, and then we've got our radio buttons.